good morning, good morning, fellas and ladies. Yes, it is a good morning. We are just getting ready to roll, guys. Yeah, and it is like a little after one o'clock in the morning right now. Yeah, but remember, we stopped at uh, just after two o'clock yesterday, so that meant actually just after 12 we could have taken up, uh, off, but uh, I slept in a little bit, but you know, it's a little hard to go to bed at, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you know. But uh, anyways, uh, we're just getting her started here. We're already done our pre-trip and all of that good stuff. So we're ready to roll. So uh, that's come right along with the Trucker Rudy Show today. If you did, we appreciate it. Big thumbs up for that. And uh, hey, let's get this show rolling. <laughs> show you guys a little bit here while driving down in the dark here in Ontario yeah that's right we have just taken off here a few minutes ago and here we are pretty much totally by ourselves here on the road yeah so that gives me a chance to use my uh, big headlights that I got there in the front I'll just give you guys uh, a little bit of a show here on uh, what that looks like when I turn them off right so here we go you see that that's the difference when I don't have my spotlights on just an amazing difference that is that that's for sure but yeah this is one of the reasons why I put them on in the first place is so that way uh, if I'm ever running at night and which in winter time we do that more often uh, you know because the sun is only up for a few hours a day right so uh, this is the exact reason why I put them on because we run Ontario all the time right so that way, if I'm ever running here at night, at least I got good lighting. And I did make sure I went ahead and cleaned them really good when I, uh, just before I took off, when I did my pre-trip and all of that, I made sure I cleaned them really good. So that way I would be able to see really nicely here when I'm driving down the road. And from my view, it looks pretty darn good. I mean, the camera is not very good at picking the light up at night. So you might not be able to see a whole hell of a lot, but <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes. We gotta show you something, right? And it's not always daytime driving. And I could have chosen to sleep till in the morning and then got going, because this load is not really in a rush that much, but I decided I want to be home early today, so, uh, so I took off at uh, quarter after one a.m. That is this morning. <laughs> yeah, I already had my about ten and uh, three quarter hours off or something like that. So I said, "Ah, time to go, go home." And all we're gonna do is do a reset and go again. So I'm already available uh, to go on Sunday. So uh, we'll see what kind of load we'll get then, right? But in the meantime, we'll continue on cruising along here. And we will show you as much as we possibly can today. Although a few hours of it we'll be driving at night. So I don't know how much we're going to be able to show you here at night. And some of you probably will complain, oh, I don't really like that. Well, too bad. It's part of trucking. It's, uh, you got to deal with it. We as truck drivers have to die, drive at all times of the day, you know. Some of us drive at night, some of us drive at day, some of us drive in the early morning, and all of that stuff. So uh, your milk, especially uh, uh, stuff that goes into grocery stores, is generally delivered at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. So that way uh, you guys have it nice and fresh on the shelf for in the morning when you go do your shopping. So, uh, don't 
local blend if you ever see a truck driver anywhere so because uh, we're the ones that deliver your freight I know we got a lot of hate from a lot of people out there because we're truck drivers they don't like truck drivers and I know sometimes uh, there is truck drivers making us look bad and uh, I get that there's a lot of them too but there's also a lot of good truck drivers out there really hard-working people they work super hard for their families like myself you know at least I think I work super hard for my family and all the time away that we have to spend you guys don't realize how much time we actually spend out here on the road away from our families until you actually do it yourself you know I've, I've heard of stories like uh, from other youtubers as well you know like you uh, you want to go ahead and stop at a truck stop well it might be 30 miles away from some town where where you live and I hear people complaining about well I gotta drive 30 miles just to go meet you over there you know well <laughs> 30 miles ain't nothing for us you know it's basically not almost not worth starting up the truck for it you know <laughs> But uh, yeah, we drive many, many miles just to deliver your freight, my freight. I buy the stuff that we deliver or that somebody else delivers, you know. Uh, we all need products and so, so yeah, I just figured I'd talk about that a little bit. So uh, we'll get off of that topic and move on to the next one. <laughs> That's the way we do it out here. We try not to focus on one particular topic for too long because then it, you know, you can overdo it, right? You can, you can talk about something for too long and some of you guys are probably asking me, what's that red flashing light there on the screen? Well, that's the camera basically telling me that it's recording. Because the GoPro doesn't actually have a screen a lit up screen like uh, like your cell phone or some digital cameras these gopros actually don't have a screen now i mean there is a, a cheaper version of the gopro they do have a screen uh, i know jukebox has got one but i don't have one i like to buy the better cameras and uh, they, these ones don't have the screen so uh, so they got indicator lights that way we have uh, the red one for uh, for letting us know that's recording. But anyways, I don't know how much you're actually seeing out of the window, so uh, I'm not going to yap away here too long. So you probably don't see too much out of the, on the road here. So let's just hope we can stay safe out here. It's a little foggy here every once in a while. You know, it's starting to cool down overnight, right? So we're starting to get some fog and all of that stuff. So let's just hope we don't see any uh, big animals out here on the road, like moose or bears or deer or stuff like that. So we can stay safe, make our way home. So let's get on down the road. Appreciate you guys all tuning in today. Here we go. The sun has finally come up, guys. And we are going through Ignis, Ontario right now. Yeah, that's right. We've been giving her for a good while. Matter of fact, we actually made us a little bit of a pit stop over here in Ignis. <clears throat> Went inside and had a cup of coffee. And, well, actually a couple of cups of coffee. And some breakfast and all of that good stuff. And now we're ready to go again. Already had 611 kilometers in the book, so I said, that's it. We got to make us a pit stop and, uh, yeah, have some breakfast. I was kind of getting hungry a little bit. Same time, I needed to use the restroom and all that good stuff, so. Figure well, let's go ahead and go in there. Take us a little break. So we had us about an hour off over there make sure you know we got uh, 
breakfast done, a little relaxing. Looks like we got a smoke a bear heading out of town. He's probably gonna go see who's speeding or who's doing something illegal or whatever. Oh, they even got like a speed sign here now. I guess they're having trouble with guys coming through here too fast. Maybe some some of the people probably complained, so they probably put something up there, so trying to get people to slow down a little bit <clears throat> but yeah here we go now let's get on down the road and we still have 434 kilometers to go yet until we get home sweet home that should take us about four and a half hours four and three quarter hours and we'll be home i'll be i'll be happy very happy actually and we won't have a whole lot of hours left, I guarantee you that right now. I only had 12 and a half hours left this morning. So, uh, we had at least probably about a 11 and a half hour drive, maybe even 11 three quarters. So, yeah, we're gonna be, and then we gotta do the 15 minute pre trip yet. We'll probably fuel up in Steinbach yet. I'll just barely make it home with my fuel too. So uh, yeah, I got a little bit above a quarter of a tank. And I know I can make it because I got big tanks, so I don't really have too much worrying to do yet. Unless it would get really super windy or something like that. And I would have to drive in that for the next four hours then I could be in trouble but let's just hope that ain't gonna happen right that's the plan anyways looks like they have gotten some rain here overnight again but it does look like further further west up there it's starting to clear off so I guess uh, I guess we're gonna get a sunny day there but I guess this guy moved over there because he just came out of that pullover area over there. He's nice, he doesn't want to slow me down, so he moved her over and put his four ways on. So, thank you very much, appreciate that. That's a professional driver, guys. Oh, yeah. Only professional drivers would do something like that. You know, get in front of you there and then put their four ways on most that's what most of the drivers a lot of drivers would do you know you'll slow down right not this guy he uh, he moved her over as, as you guys saw well, that was very nice of him but anyways let's make our way home sweet home I'm excited I know we're just going to do a reset and then go again but at least we'll have really really good miles and by the time we get home I think I'll have done about 3,900 miles this uh, this week alone, alone, just in seven days, you know. So that that means hard work every day, working hard, man. That's you can't do it without hard working. That's for sure. But yeah, let's get on down the road and we'll show you what we can, right? It looks like we are slowly making it closer to Manitoba. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We truly are making it closer. We only got about two more hours to go and then we'll be home sweet home. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm getting tired. <laughs> from this long trip you know it drains you from working so hard so uh, so yeah we'll see uh, how soon we make our home but looks like it will be home at two o'clock right now yeah this light I always gotta slow down for because you come over the hill you can't really see it until you get just around this bend here and then uh, it's almost always going to be red. <laughs> you can you can almost guarantee that this light is going to be red. I don't know why it is, but every single time I come across here, I either just about come to a stop or completely come to a stop. Like it's like always red. 
But hey, that's the way it goes. Look at that Ford pickup truck there. He's got a big red light there on his hitch there, and then he got some LED lights there, which looks like he uses for backing up or something. I'm not sure why he would need such a big lights there, but anyways, he's got some spotlights there. Whichever he, uh, whichever way he uses them, I guess, is up to him, I suppose. He probably has a good reason why he put them there, right? But anyways, yeah, 211 to Winnipeg, and it's a little bit less to uh, Steinbach, so I got 188 to Steinbach. That's obviously kilometers, not miles. So, yeah, I just have to clean my windshield a little bit there. But yeah, we finally getting some sunshine. That's that's very nice. And I know there is a YouTuber's uh, meet and greet going on there right now. And I'm going to see if I can make it down there either tonight or tomorrow. I'm kind of busy working on the house and I kind of promised to do a barbecue tomorrow night. So uh, I'm not too sure if it will work for me tomorrow so I'm kind of after going to make it work tonight probably if I want to get down there so we'll see what happens but we will show you if we go down there we'll definitely show you guys that's for sure but yeah at first I thought it was going to be tough getting home with my fuel but I think I've done pretty good with fuel mileage on this trip so it's looking pretty good I still have a quarter of a tank and only two more hours to go so I'm happy about that and that way I don't need to worry about uh, making our home right so that's always a bonus so that means just from across the border from Fort Erie Ontario there by Buffalo there there's a flying J there and you guys remember me fueling up there a couple of days ago and I haven't fueled up since. That's how far we've been going already. I'd be about 2200 and somewhat kilometers by the time I get home, I think. So that's pretty darn good, I would say. Don't know exactly what that is in miles, but hey, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah. So let's continue on our journey with uh, going home. Hey guys, we're here at Sobeys. We're gonna do a little shopping over here and then we're going to a very special place yeah we're gonna go get us some steaks right Dio? Mm -hmm. yeah right here at Sobeys I know the sun is kind of blinding us here but yeah we're gonna go do a little shopping so let's go get some nice t-bone steak or something hey guys look at this we're over here we're getting a custom order uh, of t-bone steak they're gonna bring them out and cut them up over there on the saw but yeah here we can see uh, some some meats right here yeah look at that that's kind of like the idea what we did there last week or a week and a half ago except we did it with caribou right yeah look at that he's got the meat out there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some nice t-bone steak cut up oh yeah look at that he's got some really really nice t-bone steak over there let's take a look <laughs> hey guys here we are <laughs> look at that we're on our way uh to go meet uh, Dry Chef Drew and all of them guys, so we'll see who all shows up over there. I know time on the line is going to be over there and all of them guys, but uh, I think uh, Dry Chef Drew's uh, son is going to be over there too. And yeah, we're going to cook us some steak, that's for sure. I think it's going to be a good time. Hey guys, this is where we're going down on a gravel road into somewhere unknown to us. Yeah, we've never been down here before so apparently there's some kind of water down there or some kind of lake or whatever so we're gonna go down there and uh, have us a barbecue hey guys we have arrived yeah let's go ahead and take a look over here what we got going on what the heck is going on guys hey Rudy how you doing oh pretty darn good Rudy you made it I made it that's right what the heck are you guys doing drinking Pepsi yeah <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, say hi. Hi. Uh, oh, you got that on? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Starpus? Yeah. How's it going? Good, you? Oh, pretty good. Starpus is hammered. 
Are you guys getting any fish? Nothing yet. Nothing yeah. yet? The Why would you? They're like that big, so. Yeah, yeah they're just little ones here. <laughs> Trout. There you go. Trout. So who's out there? Uh, a couple other guys. I know. You don't know? This guy's from Transcona. I know uh -huh. him. Oh, okay. He stopped his head high, and then he went and did his own thing, so. There he's you not, go. He's not a YouTuber, though. He just oh, he don't want to be on camera? No. no. Then stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it looks like our cooking is starting. We got our little grill over here that uh, these guys provided to us figure I give you guys a little quick look here what we're doing me and my son and my uh, brother are cooking some steak and potatoes yeah we're gonna have some awesome dinner I think <laughs> Behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall. 